We're good. We're golden. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hello, everybody. <laughs> okay, you know the last time we did this, I think I looked at the wrong end of the phone, the oh, whole video. So I, wait, it's over end? here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like I think I stared straight forward, but that's maybe probably I don't. really I don't smart really because know. then it's not perceptible in yeah. any way. If oh. I look at you, I think I it's okay. Oh yeah, I don't have that same luxury. So if I look <laughs> at you, I look at the wrong. <laughs> what are you trying to say? I won't look at you. You can't look at me. No, I won't look at you. <laughs> I won't make eye contact. No, she just said looking at me would be wrong. <laughs> Not Another Hats Tuesday Facebook live chat with our special guest, Miss Ingrid Saxon. <laughs> we are here to give you the entire lowdown on our upcoming mystery knit along, Target on My Back. So this is the designer. We have her here. And should we just jump right in? Yes, okay. let's jump. Okay, we're going to kick off talking about this amazing event that I'm so excited about. <laughs> by asking Miss Ingrid if she can tell us a little bit mm. about how this came to be. <laughs> um, what's the backstory? What are we doing with this mystery mm. knit along? So our mystery knit along is Not Another Dead Body and the pattern name is Target on My Back. And the name of the mystery knit along came first and I was with my favorite partner in crime Sarah and Julia and <laughs> my wife might have been there too. <laughs> she was probably rolling her eyes most of the time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like she is most of the time. She has to put up with the three. Of that's us. right. That's right. And uh, we were out for cocktails, mm -hmm. enjoying ourselves, and um, then we were taking photos. And <laughs> Sarah and I were on the same side. <laughs> Table, which is maybe good, maybe bad, fun for us. Fun for us. I don't know if it's fun for everyone else. <laughs> and so when you ask to take a picture of us, we're going to do all kinds of things because why be normal? Why just be regular? I don't think we have that in us. So no, that's not a setting we came with. And Tina and Julia were on the <laughs> other side being absolute, like whatever model of citizens, public mm -hmm. picture you're supposed to mm -hmm. do. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the serious one, which you may have seen it float around on Facebook or Instagram, where we look a little bit serious. And I think our shawls are perfectly shaped over our shoulders the same Should way and both have brioche though? in there. That was it. <laughs> That is the inspiration right there for Not Another Dead Body. Because we look so serious, we've got some comments. And it just trickled from there. And then, ooh, Not Another Dead Body. Oh, that's perfect for a mystery knit along. I myself have never written anything for a mystery knit along before, but my brain just took off. And then um, I honestly can't really tell you the first time Target on my back came to me, but I can tell you that, well, sometimes it might be fast, sometimes I might be slow. It was months and months into writing Target on my back and in my little designer notebook before I realized that makes tomb, which just <laughs> seemed all the more perfect. So everything just kept rolling from there. But, all the more um, mysterious. It's been a year. It has been a year since the sketches started in my book, and it has been 15 months since the idea was conceived. December 2022. So this has been brewing and making and coming together and it's been fun and crazy. <laughs> I have ripped out probably more knitting in this one project than possibly <laughs> I have done because I've been knitting for what 13 years now and it might be more than I've ripped out a combined total. I mean of it sounds years. to me given from what you've told me that it <laughs> is. I've been so amazed at your patience. <laughs> Throughout this whole process, but that's just a testament to how great um, and fun this is going to be. So, um, I it's no, it's not. This is just black tea. Someone oh. asked if it was a cocktail. It would be super fun <laughs> if it was. No cocktails. <laughs> but I do have to accomplish other things this afternoon, so I'm laying off the sauce for a little while at least. But. Um, so yeah, that's how this came to be. Ingrid's brain just like starts <laughs> in gear. You can just see the wheels are spinning and we knew that this was going to be like the most fun, the most fun. <laughs> try to stop my yeah. brain. Just try to, <laughs> you cannot, I cannot, you cannot. So some of you might be wondering like, what is mystery knit along? What does that mean? If you've not ever participated in one before, 
knit alongs, as you probably all know, are when we kind of like get together as a group and we all knit the same project or collection of projects and we support each other along the way and share our progress and our inspiration. And Ingrid's a fantastic knit along <laughs> hostess. Um, and we host Zooms where she leads discussions and we just have a really good time. But this is a mystery knit along. So can you tell us a little bit about how that's going to work? Yes. So um, you... It, when you buy the pattern now, it's pre-order essentially, you're getting a details page. So you're gonna have everything you need to know for your yarn, your gauge, and the basics, like the materials you need, the skills that will be used. And if you're still a beginner or an adventurous beginner, um, this is not out of reach and there are options. So if there are a couple skills in there where you're like, what? Or just something you don't enjoy doing, even if you're well experienced, there are some options to, to do that. So you have all that information now to get ready, but you don't know what the pattern looks like yet. And you, um, yeah, you don't have like that visual of, that you might usually have when you pick out to do something. Um, but you do know that it's gonna be a long, mostly rectangular shaped object and that you will have three choices for your final object. So hopefully that gives people some room. This is genius. <laughs> And the three choices come in your last clue. So you don't have to make any decisions yes. um, until you're well underway and you can decide, oh, do I want this to be A, B, or C? Yes. So. So clever. It's the first time I've ever designed anything so like this. Clever. too. But again, it just kept rolling together. So th um, what we'll do is there'll be four Thursdays in a row where you get um, the pattern directions for that section. I trust you, Ingrid. Thank you. <laughs> I'm really asking a lot of, of trust. Thank you, thank you. So the Thursdays will be the drop of that section's pattern and a little murder mystery <gasps> I've been writing. <gasps> There's more! It's not just a pattern, people. There's actually a murder mystery that goes along with it. Mm -hmm. And um, I'll have you know that no one here knows the the story at all so they're all in the dark with you uh, i am the only one here who knows the story and um they have slightly more than the details of the pattern um, but they don't even know they don't have no visual they have seen no picture they do not know so the staff is right along with you team awesome here is in the dark with you riding the mystery train together <laughs> Um, so Thursdays will be the release of the pattern and then a few days later, a couple Saturdays, a, a Monday so that we didn't interrupt Mother's Day and uh, Sunday will be the times we meet for Zoom. And this time with our Zoom knit-alongs, they will be just like all our other knit-alongs in the sense of you have a chance to share, ask questions, talk, chat, have community time. But I will also demonstrate a technique that might be used in that week's section of the pattern. And I'll give you tips of when I worked through that section, maybe things I thought of that would be helpful too. Um, because I do know what it looks like and I've knit it mm, a few times. <laughs> so basically you're going to be doing a, a, you know, a typical, not another hat knit along. And, um, but with just a little bit of extra guidance, um, from the designer herself and no, it's not socks. Someone said, tell me it's not socks. Oh. <laughs> no, not and if you do know me, I have knit five pair of socks in my lifetime. I do not enjoy them. I don't, I don't like them. I'll take a scarf in my purse any day. Over not a sock, sock knitter. <laughs> not a sock knitter. Um, okay. Well, should we talk about the yarn? Yeah. That's what everybody wants to know, right? Yes. Uh, okay. Um, tell us what we need. Fingering weight yarn or to sport really the gauge is 23 stitches to four inches and 29 rows to four inches gauge as in most accessories is not crucial, but please know that your change of gauge will result in a, a possibly a different size object and maybe a different um, amount of yarn that you use. So, um, yes. <laughs> so so I still swatch. Um, I know some people are, you ride the fence or go either way and for accessories, maybe not, but um, it can impact the overall size. So uh, do keep that in mind. Um, you want four different uh, yarns, four different colors, uh, whether they're different yarns or just um, four different colors. Two could be speckled and or variegated, but I wouldn't have more than two of the four as speckled or variegated. And color, they're going to be lettered A, B, C, and D because your sections are numbered and your rows are numbered. The colors of your yarn are A, B, C, and D. So um, A and C are used the most. B and D are used the least. 
but B and D also need to have good contrast. So those are the things, and those are also all in the details page. So whether you just look at the Ravelry page because you're still on the fence, not sure whether you're um, jumping in yet or not, and you want to know that, all of that is on the project page, Target on my back on Ravelry. And then if you um, do place the pre-order, you get a full sheet with just, uh, I think, three or four more notes on it with some more specifics to just get you geared up and ready to go. So I've told four 100 gram skeins, it is likely that you will not use all of a 100 gram skein. Um, however, there will be times after section one, there'll be times where you might wanna change and not use the color number or letter that I've recommended. And I am a totally do what you wanna do, make it what you wanna make it kind of um, knitter. So you might wanna follow your own, in which case you might use more of one color than, than what I used or what I estimate. But if you have four skeins or nearly full skeins, you'll be good to go. Um, I'm going to interrupt our regularly scheduled programming to say that I think we need to semi-stand and show everyone what's on our, our shirts. shirts. <laughs> <laughs> they say attempted, attempted murder. murder. Julia's coming. She's got to complete the trifecta. There we go. <laughs> Which does mean we just left attempted murder and now and we, we are fully full committed on. murder. Yes. <laughs> full on murder right there. <laughs> now we're back we to our pros. Yeah. Now we're still yes. attempting. Um, anyway, these shirts were gifts from Ingrid and they are <laughs> so awesome. Okay. Okay. So now you kind of have the lowdown on yarn and I want to make sure that you know if you sign up to participate, and you do need to sign up in order to get those links to the Zooms and get the information. But what you also get is a coupon. Woo! Club Very members, silly. your coupon's bigger. Woo! Woo so party party. make sure you sign up so you get that coupon to uh, place your order. And Ingrid has made special designer curated colorways. So we have those on our website and they are picked out just by her, the designer. <laughs> They're very special. <laughs> but you know she that those, out yesterday. you know, sometimes it's really hard to, decision fatigue is yes. a real thing in, the, in today's <laughs> world. And so we've made it easy for you. And if you can trust that the designer herself picked those, that means they're gonna work great in the scope of this pattern. Yes. So check those out if you just would rather not have to make that decision. But Take the mystery out. Oh, of the yarn decision. What you did there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we're so funny. <laughs> <laughs> but this would not be a Sarah and Ingrid live if we weren't also going to show you some combinations. Uh, I mean, so please. The, we have now more. These are in addition to the ones on the yes. website. So, yes. um, should I kick it off? Yes. Okay, I'll kick it off. This is my first combo here. Ooh. This is a bright and happy spring combo. That doesn't look like you at all. Nope. <laughs> This um, is a mix of yarns. So we've got some oh. lavender sheep seaside and peacock and lavender sheep seaside and hearts. And then we've got Tosh Merino light. I can't in read. Rumor. In rumor, thank you. That's the speckled <laughs> guy here. And in um, Wino Forever. <laughs> That's so perfect. <laughs> I'm really drawn to this color. I've used it before. <laughs> I was going to say, look, you have one of mine too. <laughs> Yes, we will. So we don't have that yet. Um, and we will make sure we write these down when we're done, unlike the last time. And then um, we'll make a list for Julietta Post so that if you are absolutely smitten with one of these combos, you can put it together yourself on the website. Okay, yes. you're okay. good. So um, I think I have maybe one or two that were already on the website that are in a neutrally phase, but they usually have at least one kind of bright color because I tend to reach for at least one gold or one red or one whatever. But today, in trying to just think of neutrally goodness, this, I'm just, I'm loving this. I actually, I might have to take this home. <laughs> Hopefully there's more than one of each of these left because I really, I, I might need this. But um, two of them are Cricut. <laughs> And uh, I made my Brezel out of Cricut. So if you haven't worked with Cricut before, it is so lovely. I love it. Love the tweed. Uh, it's merino, non-superwash. And black. Less complicated here. <laughs> gray. Medium, medium gray. <laughs> black, medium gray. Um, held together with, um, or not held together, but partnered with Lana's Light. And um, these are going to be yeah, numbers, aren't names. they? Yeah. So it's 78116. 
And this is nice. And this is one that's slightly heathered. So um, you do have other dimensions. It's not just a flat one color. And then this one is 7800. And I'm going to guess it's probably called snow, right? Yes, I think those. so. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, this is like, like a true white. It's not the cream or off-white. Although cream or off-white could go too. But um, so if you are somebody who likes a neutral palette and you want whatever you knit to go with everything, this, yeah. would, this would cover that. Yeah, that's lovely. Um, okay, so this is a departure for me. This is not in my wheelhouse, but just as lovely, I thought. So I've got Murky Depths over here, um, and this is Salted Caramel. Love the name oh, of that. Yes. And then we have Beartooth. Is this nice oh. red in Hello Gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> um, another Murky oh, Depth in Sagerty Sunrise, which is, let's, let's actually let's mix those up there. Yeah. This is the Sagerty Sunrise. And then the final one is Merino Light in Sun's Regret. And I just liked how this was almost a neutral, but light over here and still picked up the same tones as these yes. other colors. So that, that was kind of fun. Like they were meant to go together. It's yeah. kind of amazing. They're not even the same yarn company. Yeah. Super fun. Yeah. Okay. Mm. A little holiday-esque. Yeah, it kind of is for sure. Yeah. yeah. If you're a fall palette, that person, that is right there. Okay. <laughs> My, um, Julia says that's today. her wheelhouse. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Um, ooh, that's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> I even like it on camera and it doesn't look like us at all. <laughs> um, all right. If you haven't felt played with owned boss kitty, I'm telling you, get it before it's gone. Uh, this is cat's cradle. Also kind of looks like a, a wine. Yeah. It's right. Oh, oh murder God, mittens. <laughs> <laughs> the colorway is called Murder Mittens. Oh, yeah. I was there looking over here. Yes. Oh my gosh. That's perfect. <laughs> if, I mean, I would have picked it 10 times over. Jeez. <laughs> All right. Uh, knitted Wick Wit Chrysanthemum. I'm just like, this yeah. is so beautiful. Yes. Um, another Boss Kitty undertone. Balrog. Under oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank goodness she's here. She will interpret <laughs> all things I do not understand. <laughs> Coats and Clark. Dusty Lavender. It's Coats and Clark. I don't even have any drinks. She tells you it's not a cocktail. I don't even have liquid. It's what can I tell you? This is me. Coats, it's all natural. <laughs> Coats and Company. Coats and, Coats and Coats Clark is a big sewing manufacturer. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. Which I'm sure is why I know. I called it Coats and Clark on our original live when I was debuting it. So that that's is an fine. easy that's mistake. That's, yes. I, I put that in my <laughs> yes. head and that's why. Yes. Sure. Something like that. I love that. That is right there. That is me. 100%. Oh, with just a smidge of glitter. I mean, mm -hmm. so I don't know if you can tell in this one, there's mm -hmm. just a little shimmer. Like, how much just fun would that be? Gosh. And like, look at oh. these two. Almost no matter what you put together or how, what yeah. order you put them in. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Love it. Okay. <laughs> um oh gosh this doesn't look like me at all <laughs> this is, that, that's uh yeah shades of gray Surprise. and shades of uh pink this is not another hat is this the same is this, this the same is... as the one from your last one no, no? this okay. is um this is ultimate sock from malabrigo in <laughs> magenta and then I one shade off of the other yeah <laughs> um lanera's bear tooth in yes. winter is coming it's our gray oh. And then we've got some more Boss Kitty and Mithril. That's Cat's Cradle Mithril. And then lastly, we've got um, Black Cat Fibers Nomad Sock Ooh. in Fountain nice. of Youth. Oh, I love all of these oh, names together I, yes. too. So this is our kind of our variegated Ooh. here and then three semi-solids. Yeah. Oh, again, I already have mine order. picked out. But God, this is <laughs> if, hard. If you picked again. So hard. Uh, okay. What do you got? Um, so much that I'm like, what's what's next? What's next? All right. So what's been really funny mm. is I'm usually not um, a gold or yellow person. Not too many shades go with me, really, right? So I have um, a honey mead that was a... Uh, yes. So happy Jane yarn that oh. I feel like is the right gold for me. So I have to like search for it. It's this a is, warmer. It's a mm -hmm, has deeper. more like brown, dark mm -hmm. brown undertones. Mm -hmm. Yes. So when I try to pick out things that I know other people might like, I always try to go look for gold and yellow because I know I'm going to avoid it. And what's happened even online is almost everything has a gold or yellow in it and I'm loving it. So <laughs> I'm like, hmm, I should be listening to that. So <clears throat> here are, um, 
is it all metal? It, this is all uh, Tosh Merino light, um, which I love. And I actually have knit this in a different shawl. This is um, weighted blanket. Mm. I love this. I love the colorway. You've got some teals and some uh, turquoisey, really, and some dark purple in there, along with like kind of wine color. Mm -hmm. I have knit fingerless mitts for a friend in this one, Danger Will Robinson. Danger love Will it. Robinson. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I count on you for things just like that. <laughs> Thank you. And it's got some, it's got like some uh, burnt orange-ish, but also then like, you can't almost tell whether it's lime or lemon. What? The look you gave me. <laughs> <laughs> Your robot? I wasn't expecting the robot. <laughs> um, why no forever yet again? Because I bet you one of us is going to have to knit with this. I mean, really, right? And I have already, so you have to. Okay, okay. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Candlewick is this beautiful gold I here. Love this I like. combo so much. So, um, yes. And this, again, oh, ooh, it's, let me throw it around. Yes. Love it. Oh, I love how the, the candlewick pops against these. Yes. It's so good. And I got it originally because it felt like it was pulling something out of the Danger Will Robinson. Danger Will Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> we'll work on it. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, so love this all Tosh Marino light. Very nice. Okay. <laughs> now we've got into my purple stage. <laughs> so we have. We got into it, meaning we hadn't already been in it. <laughs> I'm confused. It was pink last oh, time. Oh, yeah. okay. So here is this beautiful combo here. Yes. I've got a speckled in the Boss Kitty Cat's Cradle. This is Havisham. And I'll, I'll zoom in on that a little bit so you can kind of see it's glitter, but it's Just really it. subtle. Yeah. Oh, it's not Cat's Cradle. Sorry. This is Kitty Glitter. Okay. I'm not the only one then. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No. No. Mm -mm. Um, and it's really subtle, but gosh, is it pretty. And then Ultimate Sock from Malabrigo in Peggy. It's a... It's a um, I have a good friend, Peggy. Aww. Aww. <laughs> it's a lavender gray. It really functions as a neutral in this combo. Yes. And then we've got Murky Depths in, are we puce yet? That's a, <laughs> that's a name. And number nine. So the dark purple's number nine, the light purple. <laughs> yeah. We gave up at puce and went to numbers. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> There's probably some significance that Debbie at Murky Depths knows, but I don't know what number nine means. So this is a really gorgeous combo here. It um, reminds me of spring. Like that to me yes, says spring. Yes. And uh, on the, just on the notion of color <laughs> names, on my way here, actually, I was looking at you scroll in the Facebook, and now I'm not going to remember who posted it, but it's a picture of a label on a yarn. Oh, goose turd green. Yes! <laughs> that was my uncle. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, sure, because that would make me want to knit with what? it. I don't want to touch anything that's called goose, goose turd turn green. Oh gosh. Okay, your turn. <laughs> Maybe. I'm sure there, there's, a, there's a project for every color. I suppose. There's a color for every project. I suppose. <laughs> if we must. All right. So I do tend to um, pick mm. like dark and light of the same Love. colors kind of tones. Um, but that works for me, so I can't tell you I'm gonna stray from <laughs> stray from that. So I um, started with these two lovely lavender sheep, and this is non superwash wool. So for people who like non superwash, um, lavender sheep, and um, I had one of hers. I don't know if it had been purchased yet in the bundles at, that were already mm -hmm, on the site mm -hmm. too. And so since it's non superwash, then um, if there aren't four colors in this, a lovely thing to pair it with then is Lana Slight because then. Um, these are also non superwash. So, gosh, for lavender that's sheep, really pretty hearts, perfect name for this. And deep ocean, oh yes, mm -hmm. Yvonne, way to go on the names, nailed it. Deep ocean. I thought you said devotion. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Did I? Oh, I mean, no. I'm hopelessly devoted <laughs> to this project. Oh, oh yes, and to you. dang it. <laughs> Um, seven, eight, one, one, eight is this, and it's somewhere it's, um, it's got really kind of a soft green with almost a gray undertone to it, but it just plays so nice. And then the other Lanus is, <laughs> let me turn one more time, seven, eight, one, <laughs> one, zero. And, uh, it's, I don't know, it's not pink. It's not red. 
it's not I think but it's just yeah I think so I call it grapefruit lovely. oh yes mm -hmm. that would be yes mm -hmm. grapefruit would be excellent I love that combo yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> yes um how many okay. can you make this also yells <gasps> spring to me yes and, and Ingrid oh yeah actually this is in the same vein of your um like the aqua and rose or aqua yes. and red those yes. kinds of things I love <laughs> So three of these are Cottage Company, uh, I mean, God. <laughs> Not Coats and Clark. Coats and Company Cottage Sock. <laughs> say, it, say it three times. It's really row. hard. <laughs> uh, earthy gray fuchsia, and it is as bright as it's coming through. I mean, it just glows. Mm -hmm. And then this one over here is sea foam on the far side. And then I've mixed in Linares Beartooth in Step Into Liquid for that deeper, deeper teal color. Yeah, love that. Yum, yum. Mm -hmm. You know that I'm um, Coats and Company, the one you had on the end there. What's the darker one? Earthy gray. Earthy gray. I found myself with so many of the combinations that this was like the perfect neutral to pair with it because it's not brown, it's not gray, it's not. It's so true. It's just, and, but it's a nice neutral. And so there's so many combinations. I'll get three and then I'll be like, mm, I'm not really sure. And that's what I end up yeah. um, leaning towards. Oh. <laughs> Next one, she's gonna show you <laughs> on it. <laughs> um, coats and company <laughs> cottage Yarn. sock. Yes, uh, earth gray, earthy gray, and dusty lavender. Oh, did I pick this one up? <laughs> oh yeah, it was in one of my other combos. Uh -huh. Hmm, <laughs> what do I gravitate <laughs> towards? Along with um, Knitting Fever Painted Desert. And I don't know if you've checked out the Painted Deserts, but they're pretty cool. The, the is a couple that are more variegated. I picked out ones that are closer to tonal, really, um, than variegated. But do they have names or do they just have numbers? It's color 111. Daylily? Where do you see that? Oh, this is Daylot. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am now going to start calling Daylots Daylilies. <laughs> Because what a pretty way to call it. That's very. That would be very nice. All right, one one one. Kind of like the. Kind of like you need the nine one one. You get the four one one of the, on the color. Huh? Just in case um, someone's not seeing comments, someone asked if they can join in and along just getting the pattern without getting a yarn. I answered, but I'm not sure if you're oh. seeing comments. Again. Perfect. Yes. You absolutely can join without buying yarn here. Um, so just make sure you sign up at the link that uh, Julia has shared a few times now. Yes. That will get your name on the list to get the emails. And yes. That. And just make sure and you buy the do. pattern. Yeah. Well, that will definitely be helpful. Well, if you don't buy the pattern, it will be hard to follow up. It will up. be a very <laughs> mysterious yes, middle. It will. It will. Yes. But it also might be, we're showing you four yarns because that's what it takes. But it also might be that you have one or two in your stash and you just want to complete that set with something. And Hopefully, we share something that inspires you or belongs to your palette. It's back to your yeah. colorways. Yes. So this one, so I don't. Oh, flamingo! I see it. Oh, flamingo. there we go, flamingo. Gosh, because I was gonna say this one has a Palm Beach. I, go. I got it. Anyway, so um, <laughs> I'm trying to show you with two uh, skeins and two balls, it gets a little more complicated. But um, beautiful. Yeah, greens and grays. We kind of. Mm -hmm. We have a theme. Possibly I have a, going I, on. my last one is green and, and pinks, but it goes in a tulip oh. direction. <laughs> this is the one Inger didn't want to put her name associated with. <laughs> I told Tina that story when we got home. I'm like, I hope I didn't hurt anybody's feelings. I said, what about this one? And she was like, no. <laughs> and then I just clarified, just don't put my name on it. <laughs> so I, I instead said <laughs> I'd reserve it for today. So we've got Cat's Cradle from Boss Kitty here. Again, Murder Mittens. Can't go wrong with Murder Mittens. And then we've got some Lavender Sheep yarn. So this is a mix of Superwash and non-Superwash. Just keep that in mind if you're interested in this. We've got um, the American Merino Fingering in Dogwood. An American Merino Fingering in Apple Blossom. That's your variegated. And then we've got the Yak Fingering in Moss. So this is a very, very like spring tulips. Yes. And I do love tulips. <laughs> How do you like spring? <laughs> but I don't know. Something about chartreuse green. I, I just, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so glad. Sarah That's right. Has we other don't have taste. to love every color. I don't. Thank you. <laughs> That's good permission to end. <laughs> I'm like, mm, just don't put it in my curated collection. Cause <laughs> 
just don't put that give would it not be something my I would stamp choose. of approval. <laughs> That's right. Okay, Linaris, is this bear tooth? Is that mm -hmm. okay? All right. So all four of the yarns um, in my last one are Linaris bear tooth. I feel like I'm gonna start mixing up all the names, and I chose of some of these yarns in the combinations that were already posted too. Um, this one, if you can see, it's just mm. it's so. That's yes, beautiful. like the tealy greens, the purplies, the blues, the mm -hmm. love it. And so to go with it, um, are these names or numbers? Names. Oh, Stargazer. Night King. Oh. Ooh, that sounds royal, doesn't it? it? Sounds like Game of Thrones. Oh. Pradera. And love me some grass green or, you know, <laughs> something along those lines. I do much better with that. <laughs> And hazel, oh, this is the kind of um, gold. gold that I do have that I feel like I can pull off um, okay. Of course, as my hair gets more silver, that changes the dynamic of everything too, but I love me some hazel. So, um, very nice. It's kind of hard to see how they really pull out in this one right here. And then the others are all solid, really just semi-solid. Beautiful. Um, Sandra just asked if these would be available on the website. We're going to make sure that we get these written down so that <laughs> we can, will share what all of these combos are. And then just remember there's more combos under the product designer curated colorways target on my back. Um, so should we go back and cover, uh, the dates that everything kicks off again? Do you have them? I, I, I mean, I know the kickoff. Yes, I couldn't rattle up. Well, all the I don't days. know all four, but we can just do like <laughs> yes. the kickoff, etc. Yes. So, so, right, oh, what, real quick. Right now, you can already buy the pre, you can pre order the details page that mm -hmm. makes sure that you've got the pattern, you'll receive the updates when the clues come out. And the other benefit to pre buying the pre order right now is you get a dollar off. Yes. So, don't miss out. Don't let FOMO get you. Jump in. Join the fun. It's for real. I think I put join the mystery, join the fun or something, but you know, taglines another day. <laughs> so April 25th is a Thursday and that is when the section one of the, of the pattern will be released and also chapter one of the murder mystery. And uh, I always want to say murder. murder mystery. <laughs> and uh, then that Saturday is local yarn shop day, April 27th. Ooh. And I will be here in store but before the store opens, doing that first Zoom. So, um, yes, we'll go over getting started, all the things, uh, meet one another, find out what yarns you've chosen, or if you're still choosing or whatever have you, um, that's what we will do. And then the next Saturday, or the next Thursday will be the next uh, section release, and so on and so forth on Thursdays. And then our Zoom meetings uh, times change just a little bit, again, to kind of accommodate schedules and, and dates. Those are all on the blog post. Are they also on the product page? So if you're on the Not Another Hat website, there's already two places where you can find all those Zoom meetings. But also know, you don't have to join us live, whether it's because yes. you don't prefer it or yes. whether because you can't make it, doesn't matter. Um, if you can't join us live, if you're signed up, you will get the link to the recording. Yes. And that recording will stick around for a while. If you don't sign up though, because you think, oh, I can't make it, I'm not gonna sign up, then we won't be able to send you the link and you won't get the recording. So uh, if you wanna participate, make sure you sign up. Um, it just takes your email. And then you'll always get the links and recordings, whether you make it live or not. Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, let's see. Are there any other questions that have popped up, Miss Julia? I don't know. Nothing that hasn't been addressed. I'm so excited. I am too. I am not. I just cannot <laughs> even contain myself. I don't know how I'm going to wait till the 25th. I guess I have no choice. Mm -hmm. I have no choice. Mm -hmm. It won't be published before then. Good things come to those who wait. But don't miss out on the pre-order so you get that dollar off come April, is it 24th or 25th? It will go to $10. There's some fellow crime lovers out there because I just yes. saw Wendy's comment scroll by. It says, not another dead bod body like got me or roped me in or something like that. <laughs> it says you're just like us. She says, what does that say about me? <laughs> Attempted murder. Yes. <laughs> um... Okay, well, I think that's it. I think this is going to be probably like the biggest event of 2024 here at the store. I, or at least, you know, for now. I am so excited. <laughs> <laughs> is it too crazy if I just like decide to tell you all what I've been telling them forever? But this is like a dream come true for me, like on so many layers. Designing the mystery knit along, writing a little mini murder mystery, having it 
happen, right? Like these are all things I would do in my scratch pads or my notebooks or my head, but to like put it all together and to actually have it happening just most days has me like split with excited <laughs> and nervous. Um, I've released other patterns. I have other published patterns. None of them have been like this, but it's also, I mean, yeah. So I am just so excited. I have truly poured a lot over the last year of brain time, knitting time, thought time, whatever. And I just want people to have fun with me. So, um, but really it's pretty much, I can say 2024 already have a dream on my dream list that I will be able to check. And that's just so fantastic. And, and another thing is we're calling this not another dead body, Mr. Knit Along, because we're hoping this is just the first installation. So we're hoping to turn this into an, an annual event. So target on my bag. Just the That's beginning. The yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. okay. Well, I think that's it. Thank you for joining. Thank us. you, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, listening to us go on and on. <laughs> it's our favorite thing to do. <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> so we will see you all in that very first Zoom. Yes. Yeah. All right. Yes. All right. Ciao.